of the Iran, the U.S. having the sanctions against Iran? Oh, yeah, absolutely. And I think that, that look, I think Iran saw what Venezuela did. Venezuela created its own crypto to get around those sanctions. Iran has already uh, been working on this for some time. And they're already having conversations, by the way, with countries like Switzerland, with the U.K. Um, there's a number of different countries that they're talking to about trading with them through this cryptocurrency setup. So I think that, you know, it's a way to get around sanctions. It makes a lot of sense because right now the SWIFT banking system is what prevents countries and 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 uh, you know industries in other countries from being able to interact with Iran because of that swift bank system this goes around the swift system using cryptocurrency so what is the US doing about it what I find to be interesting is we're not even on a gold-based system anymore in the United States we were taken off it and yet we're gonna have a cryptocurrency uh, possibly based off a gold-based system how is the US responding to this well, so it's interesting. There's already been uh, U.S. lawmakers, which you would imagine this would happen, right? Have already introduced bills really to try to cut down on this. Um, already there is something called portions of the Blocking Iran's Illicit Finance Act introduced by Mike Gallagher of Wisconsin. Um, and he called for an investigation into this particular crypto. And then Senator Ted Cruz of Texas, he also has submitted a proposal calling for sanctions against anyone who, get this, knowingly provides Iran with funding services or technological support used in connection with the development of Iranian digital currency. So essentially that sounds like any exchanges that might carry Iran's currency would then also be subject to U.S. sanctions. So they're already cracking down on it and it doesn't even exist yet. Well, the one thing is if you're Iran, you're, you're counting your chips going, you know that in Washington, D.C., nothing goes very quick. So if they can get their system up and running within the next two years, I bet they'll go quicker than a bill that passes the hills of Congress. Thank you so much for joining us, Ben. Thanks, Scotty. So uh, it's interesting that Venezuela, Iran, and other countries have used cryptocurrencies or are in the process of using cryptocurrencies to try to get around sanctions. And this is one reason why I feel like no matter what FOMO you get and how people try to scare you and says Bitcoin, crypto is going to go to zero, uh, there's just too many use cases. And um, obviously they can pass laws and regulations to try to prevent this, but uh, they did mention how slow it is to pass reforms, and uh, this is an easy way for people in these countries. Um, Venezuela and Iran have very poor currency, infl and the inflation is pretty much, uh, I believe in Venezuela, in like one year, their currency de uh, devalued by 80%. So there is a lot of people that are looking to hold their value or their uh, hard work uh, in another type of asset that doesn't inflate and uh, what I've mentioned previously in this channel is real estate but that's not the only way to hedge against inflation you can obviously own commodities like gold silver but having the ability to store it and making sure it's secure is a is a headache in its own where crypto can provide that kind of service and all you really need is a passcode, a piece of paper, or a, a smartphone, which is becoming more and more common around the world. So I do see the opportunities for cryptocurrency. And as you look at this graph, it looks really uh, flat and very boring. And it looks like we're in a crypto winter. And this winter might go for another year or two. But I know the long-term use cases for cryptocurrencies are solid. And uh, that's why I continue to hold my currency, uh, crypto. I continue to accumulate in this winter, and I am looking forward to a bull run, but it might be another year or two. Uh, but let me know your thoughts on this, and I will talk to you soon.